Hey guys, Jack Kentis here, again with some more Don't Starve, and we have a lot of shit to do. <laughs> so, let's go. First of all, we need to find some light flowers ASAP. So we need to do some more stuff here. But let's go ahead and get this, because I'm dying of hunger. Go ahead and get these bushes. We need to get these up ASAP. Just go ahead and eat these raw. No need for that. Nonsense. So we need to get some light flowers going. So, part of this watch and learn, guys, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a base in the caves. Number one thing you guys need is this Tammy. Tammy, the Tammy O'Shantern. You need to get that in winter if you guys want to stay in caves, because then you will not get positive sanity while existing in the caves, and you're going to have a bad time. So, if you're new to doing this, I say take take this guide as a future base planner if you don't have a Tammy, if you don't know how to get a Tammy. A Tammy is very important. And, ooh, this is exactly what I wanted. This is what I was looking forward to. And this, our savior over here, the Blue Mushroom Forest. We can use this later to subsist ourselves off of make pierogies. There's a lot of mushrooms here. We can come back for this. Mostly you want to be chopping down the red ones for filler if you guys are doing that. But right now I need food. Anything to be honest. So we're gonna go ahead and get the blue caps. Get some sanity and health. So if you ever hear people going on and on and on about blue caps, there's a reason. They're really good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these guys out. They give you food, hunger, and a little bit of negative sanity, but the sanity, you know, you can, you can get green caps and stuff for that. Put the wood down here. So I got a lot of junk on me. Yes, this is indeed a problem. But I'm just getting some guano so we can start making some food. Hey, sleeping bad. He's right there. We can get monster meat over here from these spiders and the tentacles, obviously. But I'm mostly looking for something that's a little easier to pick up. Just nom on. Just exploring my surroundings to see what kind of natural resources that we have in the cave before we can start outsourcing resources from above. Making a cave base is really interesting. Simply the fact that you can use a lot of stuff. Notice I haven't overheated once. I don't even have a thermal stone on me. We can, we can end this guy's misery. Take some monster meat. Use it to make meatballs or something. Oh yeah, can't do that. Okay. We can just grab guano and use that as fertilizer for the berry bushes and such. Kill the bats for endless monster meat and bat wings. If they drop a bat wing, even better. We're gonna do something fun with that later. It's one of my favorite weapons, but <laughs> we're gonna save it for later. Okay, there's some berry bushes over here. This is gonna be our main source of wood over here. This little oh, here we go. That's what I want. That's what I really want. Oh, yeah, and you have to watch out for earthquakes. Forgot to mention that too. But it's fine. It's just free materials. Like a free rabbit right there. And there's a bunch of free free junk over here. Because I have a football helmet on losing sanity. Gotta keep an eye out for that guys. I can't stress it enough. If you guys really want to stay down here, you either be hardcore or just 
looking for a really interesting challenge. So it seems there's some shrooms over here and light bulbs. It's good. Mm hmm. Let's take a gamble. Our gamble paid off. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Come on, big boy. I need you in the light. Yeah, be real careful with these guys. These are cave worms. These guys got a lot of health. But their kiting pattern is really simple. They take a chomp and then they go under and you can stun them like that. Get some free damage on them. No. So you really want to be careful when you see those mysterious plants. So I need to make a, another football helmet. Just let him bite the air. I have rope. There you go. Let him bite. Bite again. There you go. All the monster meat you need for a while. And a glow bear. I'm a little low on health, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. So we can come back here, get some red caps, and then from there we can make some meatballs or a pierogi or something. Something decent. Pretty much you want to be exploring around the caves that you know you're hunkering down in so you know okay where can I get my wood where can I get my food where can I get anything that I need in a pinch because in the surface you can see everything in the cave it's a little different and you also want to be aware of where the light peers in because if you plant plants with no light peering in they're not gonna grow so We're gonna wanna get a bunch of fireflies as well. There's a blue cap here too. Let's see if we can grab them real quick. And yeah, nectar. That's cool. That's a nice little bonus. And I keep forgetting to put my Tammy back on. Okay. So, getting a little cooked. Remember, I told you it was a little warmer, I mean, a little cooler down here, but not 100% cool? That would be the problem. Okay, so it seems the majority of the light's over here. We can put Abby over here. So let's start making our garden. Let's make it a little tighter than usual. We're going to want to put the dragon fruit down here. Tops here too. Hmm. There we go. A little hungry, but not too bad. So these little bad boys are going to wither for now. But we'll come back and help him out. But we need this. And we can dry some jerky on the way. While we're going back home. We need to put some of our miscellaneous items in here that we don't need at the moment. Oh, I was burning my lantern the whole time. Oof, bad idea. Okay, let's go back up to the surface and get some food.
I'm sorry for the low time, guys. Remember how that ice staff came in handy that we have it? We're gonna keep those. Oh, hang on. I see some free food over here. Yeah, okay. The ice staff's really gonna come in handy later on when we're, we need to do other things. And something lights on fire and we need to put it out immediately. I wouldn't use it for combat. I think it's. It does no damage. It's it's crowd control. So use it as such. Can't just ignore those tall birds real quick. I really should kill this thing. I don't wanna. So let's come up here. Mm, frog frogs for frog frogs. Mm, Bloomer is happy. We gotta keep an eye on our stuff up here so it doesn't burn. Might have to turn on the flingos. I feel like I needed one more flingo. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Let's harvest these before they go bad. Get some more mats because we're gonna be making more stuff in the caves, anyways. Just hamming her away. <laughs> Free meat. Ooh, pound attack. Risk it over here before they start spawning. Put my helmet on real quick. Alright, that's one hound. At least you dropped a red gem. That's good. Let's see if they aren't wreaking havoc over here at my base. They are not. Why did only one hound spawn? Strange. Alright, let's fix ourselves up. All the jerky in the world. Something with that pumpkin. So our food's starting to rot. So we can go ahead and make some stuff with it. There you go. There you 
That can be our snack for later. Okay, trying to think what I can bring along. To help us in our jolly old time in, <laughs> inside the caves. Hmm. That could help. Mostly need wood, but, you know, we can get all that stuff down there. Alrighty, so we got a rope. Thermal stone or Tammy. So let's go. Let's bring a, a stack of jerky down there, just in case. I'll leave this stuff over here. Let's turn off our flingos for now. And that one's off. Okay, cool. Just bringing some food along, just in case. I'll bring that popsicle too. Just in case. I want to work on um, focusing on that base down there. Ooh, gears. That's what I needed to make. I needed to make a flingo. Oh no, my jerky has gone stale. Now we can make a tube trap field similar to the one we have up here for the cave worms, but I feel like it's just easier to fight them. But we can do that eventually. Okay, let's get our gold. Oh, we don't have that much gold. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to farm for that. That's fine. I'll just bring gears with us. That's more of a pain to get than everything else that's up here. Okay. Let's eat that, lower our temperature. Go back into the caves. Grab some more war up here. Uh, I haven't heard this music in forever. And I love it. If you guys didn't know the umbrella will actually help you in the summer as well. Because, you know, it's, it's shade, portable shade. And tall birds. That way we can fuel our endothermic fire pits. And make more chests too. Thermal sun isn't helping us out right now. Oh no, my axe burst. Darn. Let's take this. Risk it melting us.
Yeah, the thermal stone isn't really helping us out right now, but it's okay. We can just go back in the caves and heal up with the jerky. He ain't bothering me. Spelunk. Look at all these free mushrooms. Yay! Alright. Let's go ahead. We need to make crock pots too. Let's cool off our thermal stone. Get some free monster jerky! Got some real meat over here. We can go back and farm the tall birds every time we need food too. So, what I wanted all that wood for is to make another chest. And to fill the fire pits, obviously. So we have all this jerky, let's eat it. It's half it's half what it gives you, but you know, it's still jerky. Still delicious. Alright, you need to go burn some trees down. You guys look like good candidates. Alright, that should help us a lot. Oh, but I don't have an axe. Okay, we can get some gold. Ah, right, we can use the flint one for now. So what you can do if you're working in the dark is put your torch on the floor. And then you can replant the forest as you go along. But I want to drop it. There you go. Work along normally. Get your charcoal. Okay, that's all that burned for now. We can make another crock pot over here. Kind of lighten the load of what all this junk I have in my inventory at the moment. Let's go get some more. Hope we can get some rocks and then we can get some gold as well with this next earthquake. But right now I just want some light flowers. Kill that real quick. And the ones you really want to go for, in my previous episodes I mentioned it, is the ones with three. 
Because then you have some extras. So we're just going to get some rocks real quick. And some gold. I see that gold. Because we want the cutstone for the crock pile. Three, so we need to rotten nine stones. I'll use this gold later. You can actually get some really decent stuff from these earthquakes. You never know what it's going to drop. Most of it does break, but the latter is that you get really good stuff like gold and rocks and marble and stuff that, you know, is a pain to farm. You can get a bunch of it. Like a blue gem. Put that in there for later. Yeah, we have perfectly enough for one crock pot. Okay. Now we can put our fridge down here. Our light bulbs in here that way we can stock up on them put them in there have them refrigerated and they don't burn out on us okay now i can make some more jerky racks now any meat that we find in the cave we can come back and put it there easily Charcoal back. Free up some inventory room. Well, let's go grab all this go that we saw. Let me get our golden axe back. And you see the trees kind of grow on their own. You don't really have to worry about them or babysit them. You just plant a bunch of trees whenever you need wood. Come over here, chop down the wood. You'll be fine. What we want to do is get a big old stack of these light bulbs so we don't have to keep coming back here every time we need to refill this lantern. We could dig up all the turf and stuff like that and make our base a little fancy, but we can do that in another episode when we're like kind of snazzing up the base. But for now, we have a basic cave. I mean, look, I'm not losing sanity. Got almost full health. We got almost all the essentials that we need there. Just need a shadow manipulator there, and then we'll be good. We can do magic stuff, real magic stuff. Just collecting all the gold that we can at the moment. I wonder. Ooh. That's what I did want to find. These will help us later. Like right now. What you want to do is not pick up meat around these guys. These are bunny men, and they are fiercely vegetarian, and they like to throw their vegetarian views on you. If you pick up meat, they will kill you. Oh my goodness. That is something for later. I'm about to do it right now. This is going to be in the next episode, guys. I'll show you guys what the little site is, what to do with it, and why that little sinkhole that I just unplugged is very important. But rule of thumb, do not pick up meat near these bunny men. You will, you will regret it with all your being. Now if we can find something more important in here, we can carry meat with us without the risk of them killing us. Bunny men hit really hard. They only have 200 health, but man, they hit like a train. We can use them to our advantage later. 
Alright, we need to go back and make an endothermic fire. Unless I have a little one. I don't have a little one. Bunnymen are almost invaluable in this area. And they're cute. Sad real quick. They make a cute little bouncy sound every time they bounce. Primarily, uh, primarily you're going to be living off monster meat and a bunch of other stuff down here and vegetables and mushrooms and cave like and a couple fruits here and there but that's mainly what your diet's going to consist of down here in the caves so what you want to do is stock up on this stuff when you can that's pretty much all there is down here with some exceptions so you're going to want to have berry bush for filler and twigs and then you're going to want to have um, probably one bird cage all you really need is one I like having variety now we have all these. We can just lant uh, juice up our lantern real quick. And then we have meat for later. As we overheat. So we can put our thermal stone over here. Carry that with us as well. Now these will wither and unwither, but they'll still grow. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and now that we delved into the caves and are starting to get better loot and such. So, I hope you guys stick around for the rest of the series and that's it for me guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Links in the description below for donation and Discord links. I'm going to go ahead and stop that so I don't have to do that. We made it 100 days guys. 100 days without massively fucking up. But other than that guys... <laughs> Hope you guys are learning something new, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell, impromptu streams, and the daily uploads. Other than that, guys, I'm out of here.